Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these really cool uh, picture edits. You can do them on Call of Duty Pro Players, you can do them on uh, pretty much any picture of a person. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to make this. This was the original and yeah, I think it looks really cool. And look, yeah, so I thought I'm going to teach you how to make them. And so yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File and then Open. And we're going to go select our photo and then just open it up as a new canvas. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unlock the layer. So we're just going to click on this padlock and... Um, yeah, so just get rid of the padlock just so it's a lot easier to edit with. And uh, yes, yeah, so now we're going to pen tool around the person just so we can edit the, the person and the background individually. So what we want to do is we want to go to, you can either press P on your keyboard or you can just press the pen tool icon. And you just want to go around him. I'm not going to show you guys all of this just because you guys probably know how to pen tool. If you don't, I do have a tutorial on how to pen tool. But um, yeah, so we're just going to go around him and I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to sit through this. Okay, so you can see that we've finished our pen tooling. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to make selection, just press OK. And now we can just press Command J and then that will duplicate the selection that we just made. And now you can see that if we hide the background layer, we can actually see the pen tool that we just made. And uh, yeah, so now we cut him away from the background, we can actually edit them individually. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my adjustments tab. If you don't have this open, just go to window and adjustments. And we're going to go to this icon right here, which is brightness and contrast. And we're going to decrease the brightness right down, just so it adds a bit more focus onto the person instead of uh, the background as well. So um, yeah, so once we've done that, we're going to go to our background. I'm going to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And we're just going to blur it a bit more. It kind of just, I don't know why, but it just kind of increases the quality. It kind of just, it just blurs the noise that's in the background. And uh, yeah, I just prefer the way it looks when we blur the background. And uh, yeah, so now we've done that, what I like to do is I need, uh, when I click on my picture of the person, I go to Filter, Topaz Labs, and then Topaz Denoise. What this does is it kind of increases the picture quality, as in a sense, it could just kind of, um, I don't know, You can, I'll show you. You can kind of see that it just it smoothens out the skin and it just looks a lot better this way. So um, this is what it looks like when it's got Topaz Labs added and then this is what it was like before. So yeah, I'm just going to select uh, light and then we'll just mess around with the settings. Uh, so we'll just change the overall strength. If you don't have this plugin, then you can just skip this step. You don't necessarily need it, but um, I just like to do this. So okay, I think that'd be good. So we just press okay and um, then we should be able to see a difference and it should look pretty good. So um, yeah, so just process the image and then we're going to start blurring the person. So to do that, we're going to duplicate our pen tooled version, I mean the pen tooled layer. And we're going to duplicate it, go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And then you don't want to blur it too much. But um, I probably think about 3.9 pixels would be fine. So just press OK. And then we want to click on our blurred layer. Go to our eraser tool just by pressing E on our keyboard. We can change the size of our eraser tool just by using our square, our square bracket keys. And you just want to erase from his face and uh, probably his upper chest as well. And we can just keep all the rest blurred. And uh, yeah, I think, I don't know why, it just looks kind of cool when I do that. And uh, yeah, so now that we've done that, it's going to start messing around with the color correction. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to black and white. And uh, we're going to change all of these numbers to zero. So let's just click, change them all to zero. And we're going to turn the blending mode of this color correction to overlay. As you can see, it just kind of harshens all the colors and it just looks a lot better this way. And we can just lower the opacity down a bit. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really nice, this color correction. I, I usually do this for most of my um, photo edits. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Hue and Saturation. And we're just going to decrease it all the way down to minus 100. And uh, you'll see why I'm going to do this, because it, what the effect we're about to do actually looks pretty cool. So we're going to click on the mask of the hue and saturation, so this white square, you want to click on it, then press Command, and then click on the pen tooled version of our person. And uh, now what we can do is we can go back to our eraser tool, and we can just start erasing some parts of the picture. So you can see that we kind of got a nice, I don't know, it's just kind of a nice red tint where the shirt was actually red. And uh, yeah, I just think it looks pretty nice. And uh, we can actually just erase some of the background as well from the human saturation. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't know what to call this effect. I just think it looks really nice. And uh, I like to use it a lot. And uh, yeah, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go to our brightness and contrast again. And uh, we're just gonna increase the contrast a bit. And we can also increase the brightness, but 
Actually, no, I think we're going to decrease the brightness a bit and then decrease the contrast. So we're going to be using minus 34 for our brightness and then 36 for our contrast. And okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go to our gradient map. And this is where you can start to get the color and not this color though. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our, our blending mode to soft shadow. I mean, uh, soft light, sorry. So once we've done that, we're going to turn the opacity down to about 10, uh, somewhere around there. And then I like to use this um, this preset gradient. I think it looks really nice. And uh, I think we can actually increase the uh, the opacity a bit. I think we'll go for about 30. Okay. So now you can see we kind of got this purple tint in the background. It looks pretty nice. And uh, yeah. So now that we've done that, we're going to go to our, th our photo filter. And then I kind of like to use this on banners as well, not just these photo edits. But you can just kind of mess around. You can see that it kind of just adds an overall filter to the image. Uh, I think this top one, the first one's really nice. And then we can actually mess around with the strength of the uh, of the filter as well. I don't want to mess around with it too much because if you can see, if we completely like f uh, like move the bar all the way over here, it just kind of overflows the image if that kind of makes sense with that color we don't really want that so we just want a small tint so we'll probably go for about 40 percent that would look pretty good and uh yeah so now now we've done that we're gonna add curves and we can just do a simple s shape i suppose they're usually pretty good um yeah you don't want to increase it too much although you'll start to all the whites start to blend into each other and we don't really want that and uh yeah, so I think that would be fine. So you guys can just copy down the shape and uh, yeah. So now that we've done that, we can move down below all our color correction because we're not actually going to be using any more color correction. So just want to click on the layer that's just below it all and um, we're going to make a new layer. And what I like to do is I like to add a new light source. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make sure that white is our foreground color just by clicking on that square and making it white. Then press B on our keyboard to get the brush. And then we can use our square bracket keys again to resize the brush. I'm just going to click once in the corner. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of just adds a, a cool light source. And we just lower the opacity down. And um, yeah, so you can kind of see that all the light is coming from this corner. And it kind of looks like it's shining down on him. And you can already see that these are pretty similar. In yeah. Okay, so now we've done that, we're going to use some stocks. So I've got some stocks from Rated's graphics pack, uh, graphics pack. The link to his video where you can download this will be in the description. And uh, yeah, so first off, we're going to be using is this uh, this texture right here. So we're just going to click, drag it in, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to we're just going to put it below our lights, just like that. And we're going to set the blending mode to overlay. And you can kind of see, it kind of, because the, the the texture is so black, it kind of overrides the whole image. And yeah, so we just need to lower the opacity down just so it isn't so overwhelming. And uh, you can kind of see we've got this nice texture going across and uh, yeah, I kind of like it. So if we want to, we can also go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And then we can just blur the texture a bit as well. Although I don't like really like to do it too much. But um, yeah, I think that would be good. And uh, the last stock that we're going to be using from his pack is let's just find it it's this one I actually use this one it's probably the most used stock I have, uh, I have from this pack so we're just gonna click drag this in and um, we're gonna make sure that it's behind um, behind the layer that has his pen tool so we, this is where our other texture was we're just gonna click drag it below the our pen tool layer and now that we've done that we're gonna uh, change the blending mode to screen and then we can just lower the opacity as well Okay, that looks cool. And now you can see that we have these cool stripes going across and then we can also erase some of the sides. So to do that, just go to Eraser tool, just click once and it'll ask to rasterize the layer, just press OK. And then we can just click on the sides and um, yeah, so it just kind of looks like the stripes are going past him and I think that looks really, really cool. And you can kind of see they're pretty similar so far. And uh, yes, yeah, so now what we need to do is add the text. So to do that, you can press T on your keyboard or you can just click on the text um, tool right there. And I'm just gonna click once and then we're just gonna type in his name. So his name is Lewandowski. And then we can hold command and then just drag it out, just like that. And you can also change the tracking of your letters, which is the distance between each letter just by holding command. Uh, no, not command, is it Alt? Yeah, hold it Alt and then use your arrow keys and then you can spread out your letters and then you can bring them closer together as well. Uh, so once you've done that, just press on the tick 
and then you can just drag it into the corner or wherever you want it and uh, we can just set the blending mode to overlay and yeah you can kind of see it looks really nice we can actually move that up as well if we wanted to and then it kind of just incorporates all of the other stocks that are behind it into the text and yeah i think it looks really cool hopefully you guys find it cool as well and uh yeah so that's how you make these cool picture edits thank you guys for watching if you did find this tutorial useful please leave a like and uh yeah of course if you have any tutorial suggestions don't forget to leave them in the comments and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video